What I'm holding in my hands right now, what I believe is the biggest improvement in the roofing industry for the last few years. It's synthetic felt paper and cap nailing system. Our shingles, let's be honest with you, are the same as they've been for the last 50 years. Practices, how we install the roofs haven't changed much, but this thing right here is a huge, huge improvement. This is what we used to have, and it blows my mind that a lot of roofers still install 15 or 30 pound fail paper. As a matter of fact, just a few days ago, somebody messaged me on the Roofing Insights website and said, Dmitry, here's my quote from my builder, Tamco listed as a shingles, 15 pound fail paper. I just don't understand the logic. Why would you do the risk to do something like that? If you live in the high wind areas, you have to use synthetic fail paper. There's no eaves bots. I mean, it costs cheaper than install 15 or 30 pound fail paper. It doesn't matter. Even if you go with the cheapest synthetic fail paper, you're still gonna win. Think about this as a tarp. You tarp in your roof. You know, when hurricanes come, so you can see a lot of blue tarps in the area protecting that roof for months to come uh, before roofers can actually come in and watertight everything. But this is what synthetic felt paper does. Now, to make this work the best, you have to use cap nailers. And St Stinger just sent us this gun to try. We actually already have them, been using them for the last couple of years. The combination between cap nails and synthetic felt paper is it's untouchable in the industry. I know for years, guys been debating me, why can you not use staple? You don't want to staple it because if you staple it, and wind or hurricane comes in, blows up your shingles, this also gonna fly. You would not wanna staple your tarp, don't staple synthetic felt paper. This is the right way to do it. Now, if you're gonna go with the uh, staples and not cap nails, you're not gonna fail inspection, people not gonna see it. Obviously, the roof will look good, but you're just risking it, strong winds, 50 miles plus, if your shingle is gonna start blowing away, you wanna make sure the roof is not gonna leak. And if I would be a homeowner and selling the roof today, this is what I would demand from my contractor. Good cap nail system and make sure you install the best synthetic felt paper or synthetic felt paper of any kind. Video is coming to Roofing Insights YouTube channel. Next couple of months, we're gonna finish our research and review all synthetic felt papers on the market. Almost any synthetic felt paper is better than 15 pound felt paper we used to use 50 years ago. Now, your roofer is probably gonna tell you something like this. We've been doing it for years. It doesn't really matter. You can staple it. You can do whatever you want. City lets you do it. Guys, If look at the footage at Panama City. When hurricane comes, and half of the roofs are gone and few of the roofs are intact. Why? Because of the newer technology and because of some contractors took care of what's not visible to the naked eye. Thank you guys for coming. Hope it helps. Let me know if you already have been using cap nails. What's the type of felt paper you think is the best? Comment below. Would like to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. Don't forget to subscribe. You know the gig, you know everything to do, that ring, whatever it is. Just do it.